sweeping credit card reform act goes into effect today to protect you from getting ripped off by your credit card company. But did you know they could still jack up your interest rates, charge fees, and even cancel your card without warning? Here to tell us everything you need to know to really protect you is the author of Master Your Debt, Jordan E. Goodman. Welcome, Jordan. Great to be with you. Um, so important day today. The credit card holder's bill of rights right. it goes into effect today. What changes are we going to see? Well, there are some things that are going to give you notice when they're about to hit you over the head, but they're still going to hit you over the head okay, if that makes so. you feel any better. So, for example, they have to give you 45 days notice before they can raise your interest rates. But after that, they're going to raise your interest rates. Regardless. Okay? Yeah, there are things that are going to help with young people. They can't market cards to those under age 21 unless yes. they have independent proof of income so they or you get a co-signer. So they can't be, can they be on college campuses? Because when they, I went to school, they were all over Oh, yeah, they're all on college sign. campuses. But now the kids are going to invite you to the football and basketball games because you've got to be there to co-sign, mm -hmm. you say. So that yeah. makes it feel Chapter better. 7 of your book so, gives it a big detail. What about being late? Well, uh, the late fees are still there, but again, they have to give you notice about them. Uh, in, it has, in some cases, you have to be 60 days late. In the past, they could hit you right away. But the late fees are still really very high, $29, $39 in many cases. So it's really very expensive for people. What about interest rates? Are they limited? Uh, there are some limitations. For example, when they offer you a rate, it has to be good for at least the first year. If it's an introductory rate, at least six months. But if you pay late, again, they can jack it up. There are no limits on what interest rates can be. Okay. People so, thought they were. They used to call this usury, but not it's anymore. It's usury, yeah. yeah. So the now bookies charge they've less. Put, uh, they've, <laughs> they've put all these things in place, right? All, right. These, all these things to keep the credit card. But they have figured out how to get around Absolutely. eight of these things. So what good was it? Well, there are these limitations. It's a kind of notice. Now, the lawyers are happy because they're giving you notice they're yeah, about so to hit you over the head. What are the major changes now that we're going to see? Well, I mean, this week? for example, you know, you know, <laughs> In the past, they would just hit you right away, and now they have to give you 45 days' notice before they hit you. So it's basically uh, up to the person who, who has the card to, the, uh, to assume responsibility and control. Right. They're just warning you. It's going to go up in a month. It's going right. to go up in six so, months. So what a lot of banks but do But you better they, come up with the money they, anyway. They raise the rates at. before it even happens. So yeah. you know, it's leading right. into today with the bill right. going into effect. And they've right. raised rates yeah. to 29% already. So, is so that how much higher can they go? Is that the biggest deal, the fact that they're warning you? That's the major change that you're being That's a big part of it. The thing under 21... Uh, there are some limitations on what the fees, but in many cases, see, these banks have uh, uh, incorporated in Delaware and the state of Citibank, or I mean South Dakota, because mm -hmm. basically they own the place. And that's what happened is they can do whatever they want, whatever rates, whatever fees. So is anybody ever going to pay attention to the American people? Do we not matter at all? I've got, I mean, I, what the hell? Well, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Got a lot are. of things that she's mad about. Yeah. And we this want is to a good one. We people are very <laughs> mad about this, yeah. rightly so. So is this a good deal that they're doing well, this? Well, there are some Does things it? that are going to be, they're you're going to get warning. That's what it is. That's you're getting right. notice, but it doesn't mean that they're not going to raise your interest rates you or fees. You called me in the makeup room a freeloader. What do you mean by that? Okay. Now I'm going to be a banker for a moment, okay? The way I used to look at you in the past, which is you pay your bills on time, is like you're a good customer. That's a really good thing. that's what I do. Okay. Now I'm going to say you are a freeloader because we're not making enough money off of you. Okay, now we want to charge you annual fees. We want to have you spend more to get annual, you know, frequent flyer points, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh, charge late fees. They're now going to charge inactivity fees if you don't so use your card enough. So I pay my bill every month. I don't carry yeah, anything. Yeah. Right. I haven't done it for years and, and years. Because you're going to get penalized. That's correct. How many it. times can people get up your boat well, without I, this is double, Wait, This is double speak. Yes. Mary Orwellian. Excuse me. Do not listen to that. Before we start screaming and yelling, why is she being penalized? Why are well, those who pay Well, because they're not making enough they money can. from her. What about How are they? Wait. How are they penalizing her on me? Well, they're going to charge an annual fee when in the past they did not charge an annual fee. Right. Well, okay? they do. Uh, American more, Express does. American oh. Express, but like your Visa yeah. and MasterCard, which you probably paid off in full forever. Yeah. They've never charged you an annual fee. Now they're yeah. going to charge you an annual fee. Do you agree it's almost like the, how the airlines are operating, where they're sort of having all these back fees and exactly. charges, and then you Baggage, end up paying for it even if you don't peanuts, get it? Peanuts, whatever. They get they're, the they're also, because she pays every month and I pay every month, mm -hmm. then you get rewards. Now, you you're still going to get rewards, flyer, but you're going to you get, get less rewards. Band. You're going to have to spend more to get the same yes. rewards in the past. Yes. You're going to make it more expensive. See, the banks lost about $20 billion, is what they've estimated, by these new rules. So they're going to make up $20 billion from somewhere else, right? <laughs> okay, so, it, so many people are drowning in, in right. credit card debt. And, and the average family, I read, has eight cards and is $8,000 in debt. Right. Will these new rules help them? Well, to some extent, but there are some things they can do right now. I don't want to just have politicians say them, because there are things they can do right now. The first thing they should do is go to a national, non-profit credit counseling agency, because they can get you rates you can't possibly get on your own. My favorite one is called Cambridge Credit Counseling. 
their website, cambridgecredit.org, and they can get your rates of about 6% instead of, you know, 29%. That's amazing. Okay. That's the first thing you can do. Second thing is get better credit cards. There's a website, creditcardperks.com, oh. where there's great deals to be had out there. There's okay. one state in the country that has the lowest interest credit cards, which is Arkansas. Okay. Arkansas, they can't charge more than 5% over the prime. So there are better deals, but you have to go get them okay. instead of being a victim. Right. Jordan, thank you. Yeah. We're going to put all that information on our website in case you didn't catch it so that you can uh, protect yourself. Everyone in the audience is also getting a copy of Master Your Debt. Thanks to you, Jordan. Thank you so much.